Everyone, it's DKJM, and welcome back to Pokemon White 2. In the last episode, we caught Terrakion, so that's already pretty impressive. And we also made it up to Plas the Team Plasma Bow once again, because that was the second time we did it. And it, uh, Charon told us that it might be in the Giant Chasm. So that's exactly what we're going to do in this episode. So without further ado, let's get started. So we actually haven't really been out into Humalau City a whole ton. I think the only time that happened was to catch Rakion and get the Colrus machine. So yeah, we are finally able to actually go out into this place a bit more, you know. Our battle will surely be worth a page in the book of your journey. So I should have a card for you? No, you're not important. You only have two Pokemon, Mr. Shell. You have a Starmie. It's nothing too impressive. You know, Gligar probably isn't the best fit for this, so we should probably switch. I feel like there's going to be a ton of water types since I'm in City. So I should probably keep Magnezone up front. And you can take a Swift. When, um... When we're at the very end of Victory Road, Sharon actually teaches us a really, er, he gives us a really good TM that'll help uh, Magnezone a whole ton for the uh, Elite Four. So we'll definitely have to teach him that, because it's like a necessity for any electric type, really. Didn't kill him. That's fine, we can just take it swift to the base. And I bought a ton of more uh, healing stuff before I started the episode because I was really running low. Drapion, that's... I can use... yeah. Oh, jeez. Got it. I got it confused, didn't I? Well, he put poison spikes on, so I don't really want to get poisoned today. Not, not really feeling that. So we will just have to. Oh no, that's not a lot of damage. I think I'm fine with just taking the poison. I'll just heal it. Oh, it's ground type. That was oh. Why is Poison Spikes even a move? Like, that just does a ton. I was thinking, uh, Sigil of Cuts part, um, Dark type. Why would you put another Toxic Spikes? I think if you do it one time, then it just poisons you, but I think if you do it a second time, then you switch in, it's badly poisoned, so it'll, like, do more and more damage each time. I think that's probably it, but now we need to heal a whole ton. Uh, I might as well heal him. And then, oh, I. We'll heal then. We'll just have to. I thought I was fine with like antidotes and burn heals and stuff like that. Apparently not. And Stalin's not doing too hot. Um, I need to get hard skills because we can teach him some really good moves. So I will have to remember to do that. And we need to place down some max repels. Alright. There we go. Err. No, this is the right way. Yeah, yeah. So we need to go through this really convoluted way for some reason. Red shards that does. I don't even know what the shards do, to be honest, so. And this cave. The giant chasm, yeah. That's where we are. You're already here, huh? Anyone who tries to block us will go running away with their tail between their legs. What are they, furries? Hey, it's good. We're all set here. It's finally time. Come on, let's go. 
you're all alone now. So, which one of us is gonna, are you gonna tackle? Oh, it's me, me. Oh, it's me, me, the X-Team Plasma guy. The one Root asked to be a spy. Oh yeah, I remember you. Being an X-Team Plasma is really rough, eh? You know, and was so nice to Pokemon. And all I wanted to do was protect the Pokemon from bad people. Well, I suppose, we don't crush Team Plasma, then that guy like, the guys like you and that N guy will always be treated like villains. Okay, I'm out of here, Jacob. Yeah, that's... Oh, thank you, that's so nice. Even if we said it was for Pokemon, in the end, we were doing what we wanted to do. Please excuse me, there's still something I have to do. So I do remember which way we do need to go. We don't need to push that. It's mostly just useless stuff that's like... As bonus, we don't need to go down through there. That's, I think, for something else that we're going to do. But we need to go through up here. And I'm, yeah, out this way. And we need to do a max repel. Oh, okay, so I do have to... Oh, never mind, I'm thinking of something else. That's that's for something else. This way ha is the important thing, I'm pretty sure, at least. Um, yes... We're on Route 13. Yeah, okay, that's weird. Um, oh, wait, I think I know what I'm doing wrong. Um, let me see, let me see. I thought, it, I thought we'd go down there. Yeah, that's just for an item. I like how they're playing happy music now. No, we don't go up here. No. Could have sworn it was this. One shall pass. Save his orders. Interesting. Then I guess we'll have to go back down here. I don't know why I got a Pokemon. I didn't even know Pelipers were in the base game. Pretty cool. No, oh, I want to get away. It's not even gonna attack me. I just wanna get away. It's not that hard. There we go. Okay, I thought I had it. I thought I had this down. Let's see what this way is. Maybe we do have to use strength. Yeah, because that's just the normal way. Let me use strength in back in the giant path then. See if that changes anything. Oh, there's the staircase. That's what I was looking for. Yeah. Alright, there we go. Come here. Wait a sec. He said he wants to talk to them so his old allies won't get hurt. Ah, I will say it as many times as it takes to, until you understand. Guess his real plan was to take over the Unibur region. Liberating Pokemon was nothing more than an excuse. If anything, it would have made Pokemon suffer. Uh-huh, yeah, that's pretty. That's a pretty speech, Gramps. You fool. We're not going to listen to what Traitor has to say. Well, that didn't work. Hey! Let me through. What are you saying? Looking to get hurt? I'm going to get a stolen Pokemon back. I'm not going to listen to villains like you. Rude, Exeem Plasma. Why do you have to? Why do you have Pokemon by your sides? To protect what's important to you, right? Even if your precious Pokemon get hurt, even if your ideals are damaged, the time to fight is now. You're just a kid. Quit trying to act so cool. Whatever. No one's getting close to the Plasma Frigate. Wipe them all out. Jacob, as usual, take on the other one. Like he said, we're going to crush you along with the traitors because Team Plasma exists to cause trouble. I mean, they're not wrong, but we do need to take them down. So, what we are going to do in this episode is something that's very important to the plot, and I like when the Pokemon games do that, where they do the important thing and then you take on the Elite Four. Because I don't, because usually how it goes in like, 
they did in Hoenn, I think, they they have the main plot of the game with the evil team, and then you just fight the eighth gym leader, like like they're not important, and it makes the it makes them so forgettable. And you also catch the legendary Pokemon before the eighth gym leader, so there's like no point to fighting an eighth gym leader because you're so overpowered and they're so easy to beat anyway. So that's why I like you complete your main journey and then you have to deal with the other problems. I think it just makes everything so much better, which is probably which is another reason why I like this game so much. But I mean, the outdated cries aren't very nice, though. I can't tell you that. I can nitpick this game. I can nitpick any of my favorite games to death, to death. But I mean, I could I could praise them more than I nitpick them. So, oh, plasma, glory to Team Plasma. Are your Pokemon okay? You should take these with you. Max revives. Normally revives only heal half your Pokemon's HP, but this one obviously will go all the way up. You too. Thanks. I'm passing through. Oh, it looks like their backup has arrived. It's not much backup, it's only two more people. At times like these, those ha those who hearts weaken, those who determination falters, can accomplish nothing. To save our old allies, to protect Unova, we will fight. Both of you, go. Now just a moment. Hugh, was it? About the Pokemon you're looking for. In all likelihood, it is in the possession of the Shadow Tribe, the Dark Warriors who appear silently. Got it. If I rescue it, that helps you guys absolve your guilt, doesn't it? Guess I'll help you out. At that, at, at that time, I believed you, you, we were on the side of justice by serving my King N. I was going to make a world without war, but I was coincided. I couldn't see the unhappiness we were causing. That's why I can't let it happen again. Good speech, rude. You're not very rude anymore, are you? So we gotta go down this icy pass. Oh, I wonder what that could be from. Wow, their boat's here. It's kind of awkward that it's a boat on ice, but hey, we're back here again. But this time, we're just gonna go straight in. Because we can do that. Ah, huh, I went the wrong way. Typical me. Okay, we don't need the repel. I don't want to waste any of them, too. Okay, I guess it's down this way. He was probably gonna... No? Wait, I can do my own thing. Yeah, it's in here. So we gotta do a double battle. Nay, then I do a bu ambush the... Why are they talking so old? Oh, ho, ho, you've been ambushed. Oh, I have. Uh, so scary. Probably gonna send out more Weezings and Mucks. And oh my God, they have three Pokemon each. Oh my God, I'm so scared of Trubbish and Scraggy. I'm going to switch out Magna Zone and Absolute. Oh, I ah can't hit. Uh, Scraggy, because it's dark type. So we'll take on Trubbish. And I guess Nine Zone will at least try and take down Scraggy, I guess, with Volt Switch. Not quite, but just enough to where it hurts. We'll send in Stalin so we can get some more XP, because I remember when he used to be the MVP of the team, but he's not anymore, so that sucks. Crunch? Ooh, that might not be good. Never mind. Garboder, wow. So scary. Well, she's strength. And we'll do another psychic. There he goes. That. Okay, I guess Magnezone would have been helpful now. And Scrap D. We'll just take down and. It's like, again, I guess. That works. So 
Sweet. I don't know if takedown will kill, but we can always see. No. I jump kick. Oh, that's not good. Ouch. I almost got Moxie, too. Double ouch. We'll throw Magnezone back in. Yeah, Flash Cannon, he's fine. You gotta use Air Slash. Alright, so that one on the left still has one more Pokemon, so we'll have to deal with that, and then Discharge. That's better than Spark, right? That's, 60. That's only 65? Well, obviously, we're getting rid of Spark. Okay, guess we got Discharge now. That's real good, I like that. And Whirlipede. Who cares? It's a Whirlipede. Oh, it even gets Sigilyph? No. Because that's gonna destroy Sigilyph. Oh, Psychic's not. I should, should use Air Slash. Oh. Oh, that's right. It's other typing. And Sigilyph is also level 51. Sky Attack. Isn't that fighting? I don't know. That's a really strong. Second turn attack. Oh my god. 140. I'd probably never use cosmic power to be do it if I'm completely honest, so. I got sky attack. Woe is me. W-O-E? What even is that? Whatever. We're probably gonna run into another double battle, so. Uh, I'm not gonna revive Southland. Only I'm only gonna do it if I need to, really. At last, we meet again. Remember me, formerly of Team Plasma? I've been waiting for you. Ah, spine is such a rotten job. I contacted Rude of the Seven Sages, but no one showed up to help me. I can't stand it. Everyone around me is always saying passive about Lord N. But Lord N learned the error of his ways and changed course to a better path. Yet they call me him. They, th they, they call him a betrayer. People really stink sometimes. They selfishly count on him, and now they selfishly make a big fuss about being betrayed. Oh, I nearly forgot to tell you. This floor is a maze of pipes. You gotta step on the switches or connect or disconnect the pipes. It's a good thing you can walk on the pipes. Yeah, I hate this puzzle. It's awful, honestly. I just don't like it. Cause then once you go down, you have to hit those yellow platforms, and I hope you can you get teleported to one of the buttons. Cause you have to hit all the buttons to um to open up the gate, I guess you could say. And I think I do no. This is gonna be a long episode too. There's the first one, and there's the second one. There's the third one. And there's a the fourth one. That wasn't as bad as I thought. So now we can proceed. I thought I was going to be here for way longer because I remember when I first played this, it was a mess, to say the least. Oh, we can take an item. Zinc. It's one of those medicine type things that just permanently raises your stats. It's actually, in reality, not bad, but I don't like it. I don't, I don't ever use them. They don't really... Uh, it's not a big mistake if I don't use it, so. Oh, so we don't have to fight it. Um. Yeah, then I can press out on that. There we go. Once again, I'm gonna avoid him. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, here it is. The device is indestructible. You will never be able to release Kyurem. You don't have to. You don't have the just sense to know what it, when to quit. It seems it's an act of mercy on my part to bring this to an end now. Gotta fight Zinzolin again. How fun, right? Of course, he's sending out his Ace Pokemon for some reason. Cryogonal. I honestly don't know uh, how Cryogonal is good, but he is. Okay, so. That should do a lot, and hopefully it can one-shot, because uh, it's revenge, you know? It's 
sweet. May just be one level higher, Samurott. But you always be the MVP of this team. And wow, another Cryogonal. I just hope if it uses Ice Beam, it doesn't kill me. Lights. It was good against physical. Special. Oh, that's not going to do anything. Lindlin is clearly stupid. Looks like I'm the fool here. Good thing we have Aqua Jet. Okay, I don't want to deal with any more of the poison because it's probably dead now. Oh, well. Weavile. I can use Gligar. Oh, it's got Sky Uppercut. That's right. Once Gligar evolves, it's gonna be such a beast. I swear. That should happen next episode, I think. That's good. Light Slash. That shouldn't do much. Ooh, yeah, that thing's dead. Oh, I guess Zinzlon's Ace Pokemon is Weavile since it's higher level than Kragnall. You know, I guess they're like sort of bodyguards, if you will. It's the same for anyone, as long as you're dreaming, the dream will never reveal itself to you. That's actually really good. Beaten again, no matter. Team Plasma will get the last laugh. Yeah, that's what you think, buddy. Welcome. I was asked to, uh, to buy an acquaintance to help with his research. What I desire is to bring out the entirety of the Pokemon potential. If I can accomplish that, I don't care what it takes. If it means the strength must be brought out by the interactions between Pokemon and trainers, then so be it. If it means you have to use a merciless approach like Team Plasma's and force out all the Pokemon's power, then so be it. And yes, if the entire world is destroyed as a result, then so be it. That aside, the reason I have been traveling all over Unova and battling many Pokemon trainers is because I was testing the viability of this approach to bringing out the full strength of Pokemon. In that respect, you've done an amazing job. Well now, tell me if you have the answer I desire or not. If you're ready, come at me. So thankfully, he actually does let us heal, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. So... Uh, revive. That's actually nice, Rude gave us three of them. Like I said, not very rude. Uh, Hyper Potion... I actually uh, do not have a... Uh, medicine healing thing. Oh, that's good. Um, who would I want to send him first? I know Gligar is doing an incredible job, but I'll keep Samurai in until it's bad. Looks like you're ready then. Okay, let us begin. Carlos now has his own theme. such a good thing, you know? I really like it. So, let's see how much we can do with Samurai. Volt Switch, that's probably gonna kill us. I knew, I know he has, I know he is mostly an electro type trainer, but it still might do a lot. Oh, I'm switching into his Magnezone. That's perfect. Is he gonna be a, like, another Elisa? Let's see how much this does. Oh my god. And that poison's gonna kill us. I'll use Gligar while he isn't using, um, he has a, if I recall, he has an Elgium and a, and it's evolved form, and he has a Matang, so, oh, and it's exploding. I was gonna say I'll just use Gligar until it, until it switches into its Psychic types. Um, that could be bad. Not as bad as I thought, but... Clean Clang, that was his other Pokemon. It's not, it's not LGM's ball form. It might be, but who knows. I'm pretty sure Clean Clang is his ace Pokemon for some reason. I'm, I mean, a lot of these Team Plasma has weird Pokemon for their ace, but whatever. Too much, oh my god. I was doing absolutely nothing. Giga Impact. Neat. Uh-huh. 
Magnetism's not gonna do good against it. But paralyzes it, but Colrus is probably gonna heal, so what does that matter? Okay, that's crazy, but Magnezone's not gonna be able to take down the rest of Colrus' team. But I guess we'll just have to see. Him. That was its evolved form. I forgot what it was. So it's Psychic type. I'll have to use Discharge again. I'm surprised you don't have to re uh, recharge or discharge. That would make sense when uh, you discharge, you gotta recharge to discharge again. Oh, that's right, I max, I max revives. You know, sometimes I can be really retarded. Let's just say that. Got recovered. That's not good. Uh, who else should we revive? You know, it's mainly steel. I think the best bet would be Samurai. I mean, Samurai already just has a good attack power regardless of what it is. So, I mean, we'll have to see. Discharge is special. Special. Just raise it special. Electro Ball is special. Flash Cannon is special. I don't even know if Magneton should be a special attacker, but hey, it's a special attacker now. Got paralyzed. That actually could be good. And that's not good. And it's still acting out of it. Um, Magnezone's completely fine since it's part of Electro type, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it should be fine. And it's still attacking out of it. I thought if you use an Electro type move while the opponent's paralyzed, it just can't attack because it's like too much. We can try to use X Scissor. Since Bug is good against Psychic for some reason. I still don't understand that. But it's always in the case. Too much it does. Oh. Okay, well now it's paralyzed. So from what I've seen, Chorus won't. Yeah, okay. Alright, alright, we're doing good. We're doing fine. I think I still have some other revives. I do, so. Matang. Okay. Uh I'll, I'll try X Scissor. I'll take the risk and use Swords Dance to see what would happen. Agility. Okay, it's setting up two. That could be bad because it's raising its speed sharply, but I raise my attack sharply. Ooh, that's not good. Oh, wow. Come on. Okay. It can keep using Meteor Ash. I don't need to heal then. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. So it's probably gonna use another Meteor Mash then, right? Oh, and avoided it. Nice. So we could turn this battle around. <laughs> no, I want to do that. I don't want to fight Colrus again. Magneton. This should be fine since I'm part ground type. More like than you better win. Yeah, I bet you are. Sky Uppercut. Let's see how much that does. And it avoided it. That shouldn't do much, should it? Okay, I gotta heal. I gotta heal. Special defense fell. That's not good because Flash Cannon special. But it didn't do too much to where I'll need a heal again, so. Let's see. Yeah, another flash cannon. Sky Africa is faster, though, so if it does half. Oh no. Should we just. I'm just gonna take the risk. Screw it. Okay, okay, okay. This is good. Oh no. Oh no. Not good, not good at all. We gotta heal Gligar because they're gonna electrify me. So let's do that. Yeah, I have 20. I'm, I made sure I stacked up. 
Nothing else would really do good, because I don't... I don't, I don't really have... I don't have any ground-type coverage. Which is actually really dumb when you think about it. And it used Volt Switch again, so... Oh my god. Oh, it didn't use Volt Switch? I thought it said that. I wonder how many times it's going to keep doing that. Oh, thank god. Oh, so much stress has been flowed out. Yeah, draw forth the power. Yeah. So strong. You're a very strong trainer indeed. So let me ask you this. Are you thinking of researching even higher heights by understanding each other's Pokemon and trainer? I'll say yes. I see. To me, that is an ideal answer. To think, that's what you actually believe. You bring out the power of your Pokemon with respect and love. Excuse me for repeating myself, but if but if it will make Pokemon stronger, I don't care what it takes. If interacting with Pokemon can increase their powers only to a certain point, then their full strength must be brought out by using a scientific approach, even with even even one without a cone. But you have shown me the potential of your approach. To me, whether Team Plasma wins or whether you will win decides how the relationship between people and Pokemon should be. So where will this be settled? Step on the warp panel on the other side of the room where Kiram is being held. Good luck in your battle. Can you at least heal me? Come on, man. Fine. I'm going to heal everyone. Alright, I'm gonna be real, I do not know what's coming for me next, so I'll switch to Stoutland first. He'll he'll be our he'll be our guinea pig, our guinea dog. Am I supposed to stuck to this one? Beating again okay, whatever. I don't wanna fight this guy. No thank you. What? You beat Cole Rest? Wow, I pretended to be strong, but I didn't have any Pokemon. Thank you. Blasted Chorus! The fool is far too committed to pure science. This is how he repays me for making him the boss of Team Plasma? How dare he put his personal intellectual curiosity before our ultimate mission of conquering Unova? How fortunate for you, if you get to be the sole audience member for one of my speeches. Team Plasma will use its knowledge and technology to take Kurum's true power to absolute limit and freeze the Unova region. The terrified people in Pokemon will bow at Team Plasma's... no. At my feet! Kiram is an empty being, the remnants of a certain Pokemon when it split into Reshiram and Zekrom. My desire is the absolute rule of Unova. That's right, Kiram will be the vessel into which my desires will be poured. Lord gets us, Kiram has been transferred. It's finally here. The wonderful era in which the, I'm the absolute ruler of Unova has finally arrived. I'll let you take care of this. Wait, you're one of the Shadow Tribe, right? Tell me about Perlin that was stolen in Asperita. Very well. This might be it. Growl. I saw this Pokemon five years ago in Asperita, so it seems likely that this is the Pokemon you're talking about, but now it only listens to my commands. Such is the fate of Pokemon that are trapped in Pokeballs. What? Don't mess with me, that's someone else's Pokemon. Ah, I feel sorry for your Pokemon. They are ruled by Pokeballs and were in the winds of their trainers. Lord Getsa spoke of Pokemon Liberation two years ago simply for his own ambitions, but if his plans had succeeded, many Pokemon would have been saved. This Lyperd, while you knew it as a Purloin, if had it been released, it might have returned to you. Well then. You there, I won't let you interfere, interfere with Lord Getsa's plans. Yeah, that took a turn of events, didn't it? Honestly, I would split what happens next into another episode, but I just don't think it'd be long enough to make itself its own episode, so why not? 
this would probably be our longest episode. I do have something else that's on my mind that could be longer, but this is probably the only other longest episode, if that makes sense. So that does not bad, actually. I, I honestly wish there was an item that would take away Pokemon's HP for moves like Reversal. I think it actually helped you out in the, in the long run. But then again, I think for like speedrunners and stuff, that make it a little too easy to use. But it's whatever. So it's a good thing Stalin was our little guinea pig. Because he's going to send an Absol. Yeah, the Shadow Tribe just keeps loving using Dark types. And that kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Okay, that's actually not bad. I think it's gonna. Yeah, I was thinking we're gonna use Night Slash. It shouldn't kill me. Oh my god. That's fine. Because we have a god. <laughs> See, I knew waiting to get Gligar was gonna be worth it. It was basically the Crocodile of people's playthroughs. Because of how everyone used Crocodiles on their, you know, the playthroughs. And I mean, it is good, but. And it has a big variety of moveset. And so does Gligar. So, but it's exclusive to Pokemon Black and White too, because you know, you know how that works. The whole soft reboot thing. But hey, it's whatever. I'm not. I'm not complaining. This Pokemon is great, and I always wanted to use Gligar. So I'm glad I could. I always loved uh, Ash's Gliscor in uh, the anime. It was. It was like it was great seeing it become a glass score. You're not done yet. And there we go. I mean it was just same thing again. Listen well. The only thing we want is Lord Gets desires. No matter. The only thing you can do to watch Lord Gets is use Kirim to freeze you know the solid. That's all. You, I'll turn this Pokemon to you. Considering what Lord Gets is about to do, I have no further need of it. Hey Jacob, if we let Team Plasma do whatever they want, there'll be more sad Pokemon like Furlorn and Kyurem. Hugh, not yet. No, don't switch over. Um, we're gonna heal again, because of course we are. Self 13 revives. We're all good. Trust me, I prepared for this. I didn't think I'd have to prepare this much, but I, I over prepared and it paid off. So I'm all fine with that. But uh, hyper potions, on the other hand, I'll wait. I'll wait. Let's let's go. Down we go. We gotta go down here and around town. And up to here. Inside the deepest part of the giant. Oh my god, come on. There's seriously Pokemon here. Hey, if you, I mean, if you want your last team member, here, catch a Sneasel. Jeez. How anticlimactic of that. Just let me get away. Jeez, it's not that hard. The deepest part of Giant Chasm. The giant chasm. This is a spot where Kirim's power resonates. Here, Kirim can use the full extent of his power and easily cover all of Unova in ice. Kirim, come! Ha ha! I have a memory that has continued to haunt me. Just one. That unpleasant look in your eyes reminds me of it. That aside, this is my gift to show you the respect for making this at this far. I'll freeze you solid right here where I can show you my glorious ascent. Kyurem, Glaciate! Ha ha!
Special Ramp, Fusion Flare. So you came. The freak is out of human heart. N. Kiram told me Kiram Reshiram told me Kiram is suffering. I can't allow selfish humans to make Pokemon suffer. And I like Unova. It's the it's the place that taught me how to live as a human. It's the place that made me notice the harmony between Pokemon and humans living together. I will protect the Pokemon and humans who live here. Priya. Excellent. That was a moving expression of your determination. So the education so the education I provided to make you king wasn't a complete waste then. But I still haven't forgotten that even though I was kind enough to find you when you were living in the forest with Pokemon and take you in and carry you for you, in the end, you were selfish and disrupting my plans. I was supposed to use your ability to rule Unova. But I'll forgive you for that as well. Reshiram, which you can kind which you kind enough to bring with you, can melt ice. And I saved me from the work of searching for it. Well actually, I knew you'd appear to fire ice missiles in Opelousa City and noticed a change. That is an ugly formula. It won't work. Oh, but it will if I use these the DNA splicers Reshiram? Kiram, absorb Reshiram. Use Abso Fusion. I would never have believed that Pokemon could fuse together, there, that there was a formula like this. 
you fool. Last time I was going to use you to capture people's hearts and minds to rule them, but this time I'm simply going to use overwhelming power and rule with an iron fist. Do you understand? If you had simply become king, Unova would have remained beautiful. Come now, trainer. This time no one will save you. But to make things interesting, I'll give you a chance. Let's see if you can stop this Kurum. What's this? Your Pokeballs are trembling. Could your Pokemon be shaking with rage? No, that's not possible. Simple tools don't have emotion or thought. Come, challenge Kurum. Just so you know, catching it is impossible. My cane emits signals that disrupt the function of all Pokeballs. Pre-Kuram! Now we gotta fight Kuram. And, like Getsa said, we cannot catch it. And it is level 55. So, I think it's become a Dragon Fire type. If I remember. So let's, let's try a Sky Attack. Ice Burn. Yeah, that's gonna do a number to it. So, it's probably gonna hit first, isn't it? Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's dead, dude. He is dead. <laughs> well, I'm supposed to go out like that. Um, obviously, I'm not going to run from it, but... Oh, we can try Samurai. If I remember, if it is part of Fire type, which it should be... Yeah. Or maybe Ice Fire. Who knows? Nah, that wouldn't be it. Okay, it's going to use Ice Burn again. It could actually kill Samurai. Uh, we should heal actually first. Oh my god, it is part of Dragon type. Oh no. You know, if it was catchable, nah, I'd just throw the mask ball straight at it, dude. I mean, there's no, it's no hard of that, so I mean. Oh my god, I avoided it? Jeez. Let's try revenge. It's gonna use Fusion Flare. That's Rush Ram signature move, but it shouldn't do much. At least, not much for a legendary Pokemon signature move. Ooh. Ooh, oh my god. Oh my god, we're healing again. We're gonna, we're gonna do that again. Because I think you have to recharge after Fusion Flare. Or, um, Fusion Bolt with the deck round. Let's see. I was gonna use Ice Burn again. Good thing I'm ready to use Revenge. And that should kill it, actually. So, Samurai, MVP of the team. Let's go, bro. Yeah, let's go, Samurai. Yeah. I always see these speedrunners use Exodrill. Come on, we got this. Use Samurai. Don't actually use Samurai. That would not be good. And it's all happy and cheery now. Priya! Pahuan! Kurum and Rushram were separated. I can't believe it. The white Kurum I went to all the trouble of preparing. How irritating. Now I have to go to recapture Kurum, don't I? But first, I'll take down this disgusting train with my own hand. This time, I will succeed, no matter what they try. No one will be able to stop me. And now, we have to fight Getsis. This is the only time in the game we have to fight him, so... That's good, at least. Got a full team of six. I think he's the first trainer with that. His first Pokemon? Gopagrigus. So, Sigilyph is in front. Oh, wait, did I heal? Oh, it heals me. That's actually really good. Because we can use Psychic, right? Ooh, that's not as much as I thought. That's probably going to kill me, ain't it? Does he have leftovers on it? Okay. Let's see how much fly does. If I can. Okay. We'll have to see how much that does. What, okay, we do not use Shadow Ball. Those leftovers could be bad, so. Oh no. Okay, it's got mummy. That's right. It always, yeah, it always has mummy. And it had psychic on it too. Um, it's ghost types so if you dark or go oh no. oh no oh wait no we have we have a uh, salad with crunch i don't know how much that's gonna do but um it'll only be able to use psychic on me because uh normal is immune to ghost the literally only thing normal is good for i'll tell you i'll tell you that oh, 
We still lived up there much else. Oh, it has toxic. That's great. Good job, gets this. You're actually kind of smart as a Pokemon trainer. I just don't. I just don't want to die. I just don't want to die. For God's sake, yeah. But hey, it should be down now, right? Yes. But the poison is gonna take me, right? Yeah. Um, I don't know who he's gonna send in next, so let's do Magazine. Seismitoad. <sighs> if only it wasn't hurt. See how much flash cannon does. Oh, it's got Earthquake. That's. I have served you. That's right. Too much. Why did it resist it? Oh. Okay then. I was gonna send in a Moongus, but then I was like, that's probably not a good idea. Yeah, the one time it's a good idea. Right, please kill it. Thank you, thank you. Just just get him. He shouldn't have been that much of a problem, but he was, so just get him out of here. That's cool, Magnazone. Electros. It's a Pokemon with no weaknesses. And we're gonna poison it. Flamethrower? Let's flamethrower on Electros. That's toxic. I think this will be a good idea to poison it because it's probably gonna do a ton of damage. Can we. It's got acrobatics too. We have no choice but to use Gligar, so. I'm just saying we brought. I even evolved Pokemon all the way up to here. Let's see if the poison kills. Probably not. Oh! Nice! That's great, that's great. Hydreigon. We'll heal Gligar. I don't want to get carried by Gligar, but. You know, in this situation, we kind of have to. We only have three hyper potions left. Not good. I'll tell you that. Not good. Dragon Rush. Oh, no. Let's just see if we can go first. No. He's using Crunch. Yep. Oh, well, I'll be right back. Alright, so he wanted to send in Drapion instead of Hydreigon. Now he has, he's got three Pokemon left like normal. And we are much better, to say the least. So, my theory is, we should try Takedown, see how much it does. Night Slash, I don't know how much that'll do. But. Oh my god, oh my god, it's a critical hit, and we're done. Thank you, Stoutlin. I didn't even do that much damage. No. Okay, it's dead. Um, I don't know if Hydreigon's next or his other Pokemon, which is, I guess, Hydreigon. It's... I'm gonna try. He's like, we're gonna Swords Dance. That's not good. Really not good. And flinched, come on. We want to deal with Hydreigon. What if he kept Dragon Rushing, he kept healing, and he kept losing HP? I want to see if that works. Let let's let's do it and see if it works. No. Okay, he's a bit smarter than that. A bit. I have a feeling that I'm gonna let my guard down and he's gonna use Dragon Rush. Yup. He knows. I let my guard down. It's gonna lose HP and it's also going to. Yeah, that should take it down. For the love of God, please take it down. Oh, thank you. And then we'll have to take on his last Pokemon. Yeah, Amoongus deserves that. Toxic Rope? Well, that's not bad. I just, <laughs> I just want to be done with this. 
Please. I know none of its news. Because I don't I don't remember what I put on. I I made these cards so far in advance. It was like episode like 13 when I when I finished them. So I don't remember what he's doing. Brick break. Yeah, that's bad. Let's 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 say that. That's bad. Oh god. Do I have a full restore? Confusion Patchberry. Patchberry has poison. Yes! If I knew that earlier gonna brick break me. Samurai could finish it. We win. Finally. Oh my god. Man. That was awful. Could it be? My plans for complete total war domination foiled yet again? No, it mustn't be. Just just say it in normal speech, Bubbles. How can this be? I'm the creator, Team Plasma. I'm perfect. I'm the absolute ruler who will change the world. And I've lost to some unknown trainer, not once, but twice? I can't accept this. This isn't possible. I can't be bested by fools who can't even use Pokemon correctly. It's not hard to call you this, but... Father, please understand. Pokemon are not tools. Pokemon, are hu Pokemon and humans take each other to greater heights. They are wonderful partners. Some humans understand this. Why can't you? Shut your mouth! Shut up, shut up, shut up! Don't talk like a person, you freak. No real person could talk to Pokemon. Lord Getsus has lost control. We can take it from here. Okay. Without Father, Team Plasma is... Farewell. On behalf of everyone, thank you. Kyrm is fine. Now it has lost its power, but it will come here again. Hurrya! Reshiram says thank you as well. That's right. I can talk with Pokemon. On that day two years ago, a certain trainer and Alder taught me something. By accepting different ideas, this world creates a chemical reaction. So I met many different Pokemon and people and heard so much. And that's that's and that's how my world quietly grew bigger. By being with Pokemon, humans can continue to toward new horizons. By being with humans, Pokemon can exhibit their true power. That's what Reshiram taught me, the truth for Pokemon and me. And someday both truth and ideals will come together. Then Pokemon and humans will be free from the oppression of Pokeballs. You. What are you and your Pokemon striving for? You should head to the Pokemon League and put your truth to the test. Team Plasma's ship flew away. Is it over? It is. I see. So it's finally over. More importantly, you rescued Kieran from Team Plasma, right? You're really something. I'm gonna make sure Perlon gets back to my sister. Still can't take it out of its Pokeball yet, though. What are you gonna do? He said to go to the Pokemon League. That's a good idea. I mean, now you're the strongest trainer in Unova, right? Go prove it. Do you remember where we first met up in Giant Chasm? If you follow that path from there, it goes down to Route 23. Victory Road and the Pokemon League are just past there. Thank you, Who. That's what we're gonna do in the next episode, because why would we keep doing anything in this episode? I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you for making it to the end. I don't think I'd make it to the end myself. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this because, you know, it's going to happen. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.